The first book of Samuel, chapter 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies of, to battle, and were gathered together at Shalshal, which belonged to Judah, and pitched between Shoshal and Azka in Ephes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the way of Elah and set battle to array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on the mountain on the side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass of a between his shoulders and the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam and his spear's head weighed 600 shekels of iron and one bearing a shield went before him and he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel and said unto them why are you come out to set your battle in array am not I a Philistine and you servants to Saul choose you a man for and let him come down to me if he be able to fight with me and kill me then I then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall you be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of the Ephratite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons, and the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to battle were Elab the firstborn, the next to him Amminadab, and the third Shammahah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistines drew near the morning and evening, and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for the brethren of Ephap, and of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren. And carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of the thousand, and look how the brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they, all the men of Israel, were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with the keeper and took and went as Jesse has commanded him. And he came forth to trench as the host was going forth to the fight and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put a battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with him, Behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spoke according to them, according to the same words, and David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were very afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up, and it shall be that the man who killed him the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spoke to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is the uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that kills him. And Elab, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke unto the men, and Elab's anger was kindled against David, and said, Why came thou down here, and with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and thy naughtiness of the heart, for thou art come down that thou might see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spoke after the same manner, and the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spoke, that rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. 
And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. And the servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivers me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put on a helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword among his armor, and he astrayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have put not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in the shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bore his shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked out and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and a fair conscience. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou that thou come to me with staves? And thy Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. Whom thou hast defiled, defed, defied, whom thou hast defied. This day the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee, and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all the assembly shall know that the Lord saved not the sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose and came drew near to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead. And that stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slewed him. And But there was no sword of the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine, and took his sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines, until thou came into the valley, and the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way of Sharam, even to Gath, unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his armor in his tent. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As the soul lives, O king, I cannot tell you. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son is stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse and the Bethlehemite. Chapter 18 And it came to pass, when 
he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, but the Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more home to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David and his garments, even his sword and his bow and his girdle. And David went out with soever Saul sent him and behaved himself wisely. And Saul sent him over the men of war and he accepted in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. And it came to pass as they came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistines, that the women came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing, to meet the king Saul, with tabrets, with joy, and with instruments of music. And the women answered one another as they played, and said, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very soft, and the saying displeased him. But he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they ascribe but thousands. And what can have he more but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day forward. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul. And he prophesied in the midst of the house. And David played with his hands and at other times. And there was a javelin in Saul's hand. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. And Saul was afraid of David, because the Lord was with him, and was departed from Saul. Therefore Saul removed him from him, and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Therefore when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David, because he went out and came in before them. And Saul said to David, Behold my eldest daughter Mirab, her I will give thee to wife. Only be thou valiant for me, and fight the Lord's battles. For Saul said, Let not mine hand be upon him, but let the hand of the Philistines be upon him. And David said unto Saul, Who am I, and what is my life for my father's family in Israel? that I should be the son-in-law to the king. But it came to pass But it came to pass at the time when Mirab's daughter should have been given to David that she was given to Adriel the Mithraite to wife. And Michael Saul's daughter loved David, and they told Saul and the thing pleased him. And Saul said, I will give him her that she may be a snare to him and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him. Wherefore Saul said to David, Thou shalt be this day be my son-in-law in the one of the twain. And Saul commanded his servants, saying, Commune with David secretly, and say, Behold, the king has delight in thee, and all his servants love thee. Now therefore be the king's son-in-law. And Saul's servants spoke these words in the ears of David, and David said, Seems it to you a light thing to be a king's son-in-law, seeing that I am a poor man and lightly esteemed? And the servants of Saul told him, saying, On this manner spoke David. And Saul said, Thus shall you say to David, The king desires not any dowry, but a hundred foreskins of the Philistines, to be avenged of the king's enemies. But Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistines. And when his servants told David these words, it pleased David well to be the king's son-in-law, and the days were not expired. Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew the Philistines, two hundred men. And David brought them their foreskins, and they gave them in the full tale to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave him Michael, his daughter, to wife. And Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David, and that Michael, Saul's daughter, loved him. And Saul was yet the more afraid of David, and Saul became David's enemy continually. Then the prince of the Philistines went forth, and it came to pass, after they went forth, that David behaved himself more wisely than all the servants of Saul, so that his name was much set by. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. 
In your loving name I pray, amen.